Hi everyone, this is Mens here, playing the premium tier 7 British heavy tank, the FV201845. Um, it's not a normal premium tank, you don't see it around too much, but um, it's kind of because it's not a great tank. Um, it's okay in every single area, but it's not great in any one area, like a lot of premium tanks like either focus on firepower, or armor, or mobility, or just something. This tank is just, eh, it's kind of like, eh. It's basically like a stock uh, carnivore in a way. Or kind of is. I believe it's a Centurion hull, and then it's the stock turret from the carnivore. But really, um, this tank, it has the Tog 2 gun on it, that is a tier 6 premium, but a tier 7 now, you have this gun. So it does not hit hard at all. AP penetration is pretty piss poor. Your APCR is a lot better, but very expensive to use that um, since you're not doing a lot of damage. So it's going to cost you a lot to use it, but it is effective. Um, it's not very mobile as you see here. It's not slow by any means for a heavy tank, but not mobile at all. Um, but really, it's just it's too much of a generalist tank in a way that it fails at being a generalist tank because it's so mundane. But it does look pretty good, it's an HD model. Um, it is British so it can train pretty much any crew um, that you have. You just need a radio operator for your say FV-215B crew, uh, much like the TOG. Alrighty now, uh, we got the tier 9 here, I wonder if he's gonna push hard. Looks like he's going to push hard. Come on guys, pull back. He's just going to kick your face in. The only real hope we have here is to catch them in a crossfire. That makes me... Why, why do people do this? So there's no... It's like, dude, just pull back. You're not going to take on three of them. Even if I pushed up there, I wouldn't have helped out that much. So I'm going to try to help when he pushes, but... I don't know. Yeah, I, I really hate when people sit there and watch you die. But this is one of those cases where... Tried to warn him, like, pull back, dude, pull back, like, hello. Maybe, just maybe, I will be able to take him out with premium shells. We'll see if that works. It'll suck if it doesn't, but... Need to get that little bugger off of me here. Too much assistance here. And look, another ammo rack damage. Unfortunately, this tank suffers, like a lot of other British tanks, from having a very poor ammo rack. It'd be nice if I could get by here and fall off the cliff. Doesn't look like much our the rest of our team's doing well. But yeah, unfortunately this tank it's okay, but it, it's just too okay. Like I was saying, it it really needs um, a buff, whether it's rate of fire or accuracy or something, because right now it's just uh, it's just not a good tank. Even for a premium, it's not a good tank. But if you like connect, collecting unique tanks, go ahead. I bought it. Um, don't know why I bought it, but oh shit. Yeah, that just screwed up my little plan here. Okay. Now my loader's gone. 
Oh god, nine second reload time. This is not gonna end well. Maybe I'll get one more shot. <laughs> Oh god, I'm bouncing something. I'm doing, I'm doing it. <laughs> Definitely not going to win this match, but somehow I just bounced uh, two shots, which I am so surprised by. Okay, there we go. Finally done. I guess it's because my um, upper hole was extra angled. Um, in which case it is pretty strong, but by itself it's in no means a strong upper hole. But at least I delayed them a little bit. But FE201 A45, it's a good crew trainer. Okay, is this guy really... Right, I'm driving in a straight line right through the middle. That makes complete sense. But um, it's a decent crew trainer. And really, it's a it's a good good all around tank. And being that it's good at a little bit of everything, but it just doesn't have enough of any one stat. Whether it's accuracy, rate of fire, penetration, damage, armor, speed, to really make it a worthwhile premium. Hopefully, they end up buffing it because really, it could be an excellent tank if they do give it a little bit uh, more accuracy, maybe penetration, rate of fire better um, option or even a little bit of mobility but in its current state it's just kind of eh but as far as this match goes uh, 1326 damage here experience wise same place I ended up blocking 1720 damage so why don't we hop into one more see if I can either improve upon this or completely fail and show you uh, this tank failing on falling on its face All right, for I actually might set up over here. To be honest, uh, I've used the gun depression. Hopefully, to my advantage. Um, we'll see though. Hopefully, artillery won't focus on me. Really, there's not enough speed for me to push up here. By the time I get over there, um, either we'll be too far behind or too far ahead for me to really um, be worthwhile. Let's get this show on the road. Alright, so I'm going to be pushing over to G1. Let's see, at least they have IS-3s on the enemy team. I can penetrate them. Potentially, without using any APCR. KV-5 is a problem. Um, other tanks, not so much if I'm higher up than them being on the hill here. Uh, we'll see how it goes, though. Um, usually, assault like this is really hit or miss. Standard match a little bit easier, but really, um, I find a lot of times attacking on this side, you, your team either does okay or completely terrible. We'll see what this PZ4 sees up here. Alright, there's our first target. Enemy damage. Did some damage, I'll take that. Enemy is hit. Them. At first I saw I thought I saw E2 and I'm like, uh oh, shit. Unfortunately not enough gun depression right here, so I'm gonna move a little bit. Big of a deal, but it's gonna personally make me potentially get spotted here. Just trying to get in the right spot. I have a feeling when I shoot here and get spotted, I will take a shot and see if this T29. K-29 
KV-5 here. Be nice if I can track him, maybe. Right, instead, let's go back to the T-29. I have a little bit of a shot on his upper hull, so I'm going to try to hit that. Unfortunately, it seems like I keep missing or hitting another tank. It's very possible, but not all that likely uh, with where this guy is. Uh, I'm failing here. Let's uh, see if anything changes. Yeah, yeah, close the critical hit. Here we go. I'll just fire AP. Launching. And it's somehow working. <laughs> Compared to APCR. Maybe my APCR wasn't going that far? Or who, who the hell knows? I have a feeling like I might have been hitting another tank. Alrighty now. They should be fine here. I'm gonna pull back and try to help out this sign. I really didn't want to push because I had a feeling that we would, or I would have, not we, I would have ended up taking way too much damage to make that a viable option for me. There's a little bit of a bump here, so I can use that to my advantage. She might have a shot in that little leopard. It doesn't look like it now, though. Okay, we got this T-150. Oop, never mind, we have a IS here. And a Hellcat. Wish I had my HE now. Hopefully that'll... Keep the Hellcat at bay, doing a little bit of damage. Very nice if I could hit this IS though before he. Still ain't working. Still ain't working. We lost the track. We're stuck here. Yep. I'm gonna pay for missing that IS now. Got him. Smash horn. Well, I might get lucky there, trying to hit him, but no, it didn't work out. Probably not going to attempt, maybe I can damage him with that angle. If I can actually hit him again, that is. It'd be nice if I could get him out, but not all. I do have a decent amount of HP, so why do I push into him here, um, since I do have pretty much full HP. Leopard. How the hell do we win? Uh, we got a little lucky. Enemy armor is damaged. Won't sugarcoat it. We got a little lucky here. Enemy vehicle destroyed. That's gonna hurt. Got him. Okie dokie. Doing decent here in this thing. Fortunately, I haven't needed to brawl anybody or chase anybody down, but whew, I'll take it. But our team, fortunately, we did work semi well together. Um, one line could have pushed a little bit faster, one two line, but all in all, at least we didn't rush in guns a blazing and ended up dying. I just saw their KV-5 coming down that hill and their heavies following and basically crushing all of our mediums that were up there, but fortunately that didn't happen early on. So this is an example where this tank actually does work. Um, fortunately I wasn't thrusted into being a heavy tank, I wasn't thrusted into carrying the team at all or anything, just really kind of supporting um, in every which way, which this tank's okay at. but. Does it make it uh, the best tank at it? No, not by a long shot, but you can have decent matches in it. It's just really there's better premium tanks out there uh, than this, but 
overall, at least uh, this tank isn't as terrible. It's not the worst premium in the world, but it could need or it could uh, receive a little, bit, a little bit more appealing. But that's why it's not on sale regularly. So anyway, mastery band second class, um, decent amount. Uh, damage wise, a little under two thousand. Just missed that by eight. Uh, second place for experience. Blocked a little bit, spot up for a little bit, made a little bit of credits. Um, overall, doesn't make a huge amount of credits, but just a decent amount. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for uh, watching it, because I'm kind of glad these two matches worked out well, because it's been a little hard making a video for this. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel here. You can also support me on YouTube, upper right-hand corner. Uh, otherwise, you can check me out on wotguru.com or also mensgaming.com um, for World of Tanks and World of Warships uh, guides and helpful little tidbits. So anyway, thanks again for watching and hope to see you again sometime soon.